Welcome back to the channel and this is exciting because this is so far the most expensive lightning collection item that we have to date. Um, so obviously it's the lightning collection Red Rangers Mighty Morphin Power Sword. Um, starting off with the box, obviously it's just showing the sword on there. Uh, we've got lightning collection logo and then the new um, like artwork and display of the box that we've seen on the helmets and stuff so far so that's consistent so far with both the weapons and then obviously the new helmets there's not a whole lot to the box other than being heavy um and showing you what you get inside so on the top there we've just got wrap around of the uh what's on the front there and then the same on the bottom with some legal stuff and then a little uh, plastic free packaging logos on there this is going to be a bit difficult, so I'm only going to do the back and the front because I don't want to... I'll try it. Yeah, it's not going to happen. So I don't want to knock all my stuff over and I've only really got this one place to be uh, doing my reviews, unfortunately. Um, so as you can see on the back, it's just stating that it's got an iconic sound effect. Uh, it comes with a display stand. Uh, it's motion reactive. Touch activated progressive light effects. Um, yeah, and there it is. Obviously, it lights up, makes nice sounds. Uh, we've got the measurements just at the side here, which is there if anybody's interested. And then this side, obviously, we've just got uh, all the legal stuff on there, uh, a couple of logos and things like that, uh, and the barcode. So I have already opened this box um, just to make life easier for myself and I'm glad I did because it was a pain to be able to open. Um, and then obviously I just wanted to work out what it does and stuff like that. So unboxing this, firstly we've got the stand that it comes with which is quite nice. It's got a decent little bit of cracking detail on there. A nice shiny coin which goes with uh, the same sort of style as the dragon dagger minus this bit um and then it's just got these little like slot in bits that hold the sword and it does enable you to be able to um position it either way and then it's just a hollow plastic with nothing else on the back as you can see there and bringing in the sword itself it doesn't come with any batteries uh unfortunately i did look on uh hasbro pulse website to check what batteries it needed first just to make sure i was prepared for this video and unfortunately uh it didn't seem to be the case so the uh batteries displayed uh that it says that you need on hasbro pulse um it does say that you need six AAA batteries when that doesn't seem to be the case and you need three uh, AA batteries. So just bear that in mind if you're gonna buy it, that you may have the wrong batteries if you've gone by what it says on the uh, on the listing. Uh, starting at the bottom, this is where the battery's being held inside. So you just undo this little screw, um, that end bit pops off and then there's like a little plastic battery holder, you put them inside, just line them up. Uh, slot it in then put that back on uh, which is easy enough to do uh, the handle here has got like a nice mirrored gold on there which looks lovely this is all obviously die cast at the bottom um, and it is quite heavy the handle itself is heavy uh, the blade not so much but we'll get to that bit in a minute and we've got like a little uh, power rangers lightning bolt there don't know how accurate this is to the show. Um, for me, I've never seen it up close enough on the show to be able to go, oh, that should be there or that shouldn't be there. But there is a lot of added detail in here that Legacy didn't have. I'll go through that a little bit later. Um, so I'm not saying that this should be here, uh, but it is. Um, and then we've got two uh, fake buttons at the side just to match the real ones, I suppose. Uh, and then again, a little mirrored patterned bit on the back there, just keeping it consistent up here obviously we've got the coin in the middle um, which is sort of similar to the coins that you get in the morpher so it's obviously got like the similar the same finish and um, so that's nice that that matches there paint the gold paint on there looks quite nice uh, especially against the red and then we've got this added detail in here which again 
If it's meant to be there, fair enough. If it's not, it's not. So I shouldn't have put the batteries in this, should I? Um, and then a bit more some detail at the side there. That looks very cheap, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that this is the best sword in the world, because obviously it's not, and it's made of plastic, and it is what it is. Um, but, yeah, I am pleased with that so far. And then coming down to the blade, obviously we've got um, all this nice pattern in the blade, which is, I believe, a bit more than uh, what it should be. So then you've got like this clearer plastic. So you notice a different color. So this side is the bit that lights up, I think. Uh, and then this is just like the solid silver, the same color as this. So you can kind of see the difference there than there. Uh, so only one side lights up, which is a big shame. I was hoping the whole thing would light up. It's a bit disappointing for me, to be honest. But there we go. I'm gonna try and just light this up the best I can um, with the space that I've got. So. Got a couple of buttons just on the bottom here on the handle. So this one um, plays the Power Rangers theme song, I believe. Oh, when I turn it on. Okay, so we've got to press the bottom one just to, to turn that on and it will activate like that. And then to, you'll hear like this humming noise. So hopefully you can hear that. And then to activate the light, you just kind of rub your hand along it and it will uh, light up. And then as I said, not lit up on this side and then it does change the hum. Um, and then when you wave it, it will, I don't wanna <laughs> whack all my stuff, but. So you get like that little swooshing noise and then you get a clashing noise with that. And then to turn the light off, I believe, no we don't. Okay, we have to fully turn it off. So that's turned the light off now, and you'll still be able to hear the humming behind it. I don't know if you can hear that very well. Right, so without the light, then we get a different sort of uh, swooshing sound. <laughs> And then we've got our like clashing sound there. Um, so when it's in this state, if you press this one, it will turn it back off. And it will just do that noise just to confirm that it's off. The humming on it is very, very low. So it's easily could be left on. So just be a little bit careful. And if you obviously don't want to waste the batteries, just when you press the button to turn it off, have a little listen to it. So there's our on activation again. And you can hear it well whether you can hear it or not i don't know but um and then this top button here we'll just do a uh, theme tune so while you've got that theme tune going you can still obviously be able to use the sword so if you and your mates wanted to have a little fight with them then obviously you can have the tune going in the background whilst you're still uh, making all the sounds of the sword so with minimal uh, weapons being able to compare this to obviously this is the dragon dagger at the bottom this is from lightning collection so as you can see it's got like similar um sort of quality to it uh, the blade on it is probably about the same sort of uh, materials and whatever. Obviously, this middle bit is going to be different. But just to show you a little size comparison, if you're interested in those, just to show you the difference of uh, what they are. So you can, if you've got a dragon dagger and you're considering it, you can sort of see that it's about two uh, two dragon daggers worth of length, really. Just a really quick comparison for the uh, Lightning Collection and the Legacy. Obviously, you can see in the photo here that there's some uh, clear difference in the size. Obviously, the light um, and then the handle on the blade, uh, the handle on the sword and the blade are both a little bit shorter. Uh, and then, obviously, the main or the joiner part of the middle of the sword uh, is just a little bit smaller. And then uh, the coin in the lightning collection one is obviously a bit shinier and uh, kind of matches the coins in the uh, lightning collection morpher and then it would be the same with the legacy one so you can just see there that the coin on 
the Mid Order Legacy sword uh, is very similar to the coin that they're using in the Legacy Morphers. And then comparing the screen accuracy is hard to kind of tell which one's which because there's um, so many different scenes in the show that it's hard to say uh, whether one in particular is more accurate than the other. I would just, I guess, assume that the uh, Legacy one is a little bit more accurate in length. Uh, however, it is kind of shown in this picture whether it's just the angle that the blade and the handle is a little bit shorter. Uh, and then obviously it's lighting up. Uh, it is described in uh, on Hellsboro Pulse as being accurate to a particular move that it's doing rather than um, the accuracy of a prop, maybe. Um, but for me, I wouldn't use this as a uh, cosplay item or anything like that. I would literally just use it as a display uh, to go on my lightning collection stuff, which suits me better personally if it is a little bit smaller because it gives me just a little bit more space. And a really quick shout out to Elim just for allowing me to use this uh, part of his video on my review and you can just see how he's uh, squishing the blade in there where it's just thin plastic with just a rod shot through the middle of that. And if you fancy checking out his review for the Legacy Sword I will leave that in a, as a link in the description below so cheers for that. So once again, here it is. My final thoughts on it is that there is not a whole lot really to be able to talk about with it. Um, obviously it's doing minimal, so the, the buttons and stuff don't do as much as like the Dragon Dagger, obviously, because you're getting different um, modes and whatever with the Dragon Dagger. Uh, it would have been better if they could have put a switch on each side rather than just having two in your face red switches there. They could really have just made uh, one of these a switch on one side and one on the other side and kept them black to sort of disguise it from the handle. Um, the light up feature is cool where you sort of uh, sort of uh, touch activate so that's a nice little uh, add to the sort of play of the sword I suppose uh, but there is a lot of detail in it, it is bright. Uh, I like this gold on there I'm very happy with it for the price point is a bit um, a lot of money as I said in the beginning it is the most expensive item from lightning collection so far around 200 to 230 depending on where you're getting it from um, I chose to get mine from Indemand Toys because I uh, had quite a few points on there so I managed to get it for around about uh, I think it's about 200 maybe a little bit under uh, and then I did buy so that gave me more points, which was about 20, 25 quid's worth of points or whatever. Um, and then I was able to use them on getting the price down for the power lance. Um, so that kind of worked out. And then buying that gave me some more points, so I saved them up again for the next time. Um, so that's cool. So if you're in the UK and you're um, having a little look at these online... If you buy anything regularly from In Demand Toys, then have a double check, see how many points you got. Obviously, this is going to go down in price because no one is buying it. The price is so high, it's crazy. Um, for me, I had to get it, I wanted it. Um, so the price is what it is. Um, but I can guarantee it'll go down in price in like a two months and I'll be kicking myself for it, but whatever, it's too late now. Um, on the price point, obviously, we're going to be seeing, or I'm hoping we're going to be seeing the Power Axe, which is most likely going to be last. Um, I can only imagine that the reason that they've done this um, at that sort of size uh, is to be able to put onto something. Uh, but I can imagine if it was Legacy, at, you can't even see my hand, but at such a large scale to be able to do power axe where this is going to potentially fit on top of it would be uh, a lot. So, so far this is probably the, um, it is the biggest and it is the most expensive, but I don't think it will be. I reckon once we get that axe, this will be out the window, you'll be able to grab this on sale. So um, if you're holding out for it, hold out and good luck and hopefully you'll be able to find it at a good price and I'm absolutely sure that you will. If you're waiting for it, then enjoy it when you get it. Um, I understand that people, there's going to be people out there that aren't going to like it and that are going to be comparing it to the legacy and saying how much better it is. So 
leave your comments in the description um in the comment box below sorry let me know what you think but obviously please keep them polite and constructive rather than it's a load of poo poo um so yeah anyway thanks for watching guys please make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you are interested in seeing this review coming up next uh so like I say, subscribe, hit that bell button so you'll be able to uh, have a little look at this bad boy. Have a good week, guys. Happy Monday.